Right, okay, today I am just going to do a very, very short video showing you how to make a platinum silicon painting sponge using this product. It's called Soma Foma um, 15. Now, to my knowledge, nobody has done this before, so the people who are watching this video are getting um, a, a quite exciting uh, preview of this because... Uh, <coughs> It's, it's not something that, I, as far as I know, anybody has ever used before. Now, this is what the product that we'll end up with. It's a painting sponge that I'm going to be using in most of my videos from this point onwards. Um, it's made out of platinum silicon, so there is no problem whatsoever with Cure. It does not inhibit anything because it's made out of the same product that the materials we're using are made out of. It's made out of platinum silicon but it's in a foam. Um, it's not absorbent like a cosmetic sponge is, but it's really good for painting. Um, and I'll be showing you that when I, do th when I come to do the painting, or well, you might have already seen me doing it. So really, really easy to, to make. Um, it, this one is Soma Foma 15. There are different, um, different sizes of it. Basically it makes different sizes. It, it expands at different rates. This one I have to add two parts A to one part B and uh, it's incredibly easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it in now. So I'm going to pop in, I'm going to make it up as I go along really. Right, I'll do 200 grams of A. that's close enough and I'm going to do 100 grams of B just pop it in there we go 100 grams and we mix 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 so and it's really incredibly good fun to to make um, like any product, it's not exactly cheap to buy. But, um, I'll, I'll probably sell some on my um, on my making silicon babies group. But as you can see, it's really easy to make. Right, this is getting properly mixed up now. And you can see it's starting to bubble up and expand. I think I'm just going to leave it to do its thing now. So. So it says on the packet that um, it, the pot life is 30 seconds, so obviously it, it starts to cure very, very, very quickly and um, the cure times an hour it, and it expands to four times its volume. So make sure that however much you put in the bottom of the bucket, it's got room to expand by four. I expect this will come over the top, to be quite honest. Um, now, even though it takes an hour to cure, I don't think it's going to take that long to expand up, uh, but we shall see. What I might do is turn the video off and turn it back on again when it gets um, a bit further on, although it's actually quite fascinating to watch. Um, it's a bit like a, a, a pot boiling up. So this, so this foam, um, as you can see, this is a piece I've used. Um, it's brilliant because what you can do is you can just you can just tear it, tear a piece off it, um, and use it. Um, what I tend to do is tear a piece off, and then I'll just I'll just trim 
one edge of it. I don't use the edge that's touched the side of the bucket because um, I've put a little bit of um, 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 release um, on, on the side of it to because I actually have trouble getting it out sometimes. Um, so basically I just pop, I just cut it and as you can see it's 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 dead easy to use now. Um, I wonder if I could just give you a little demo while I'm waiting for that to 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 do something. I'll use this face that I've been messing around with. Um, I was just messing around with this face. It's just a um, um, one that's that's been laid there. <coughs> so I'm going to mix up some silicon so I can show you how how I use the sponges. Um, I'll just use this because that's what I got out. I should have prepared this, shouldn't I? Oh, bit of that. Bit of that. I just mix a little bit up because I'm not actually I'm not actually using this. It's just to show you. As I say, it would help if I uh, actually got things out before I started doing these demos. As you can see it's coming up. <gasps> so exciting! Put some solvent on this. Pot I've got. Yeah. Right. Um, I'll just mix it with a brush. Save myself some time. Right. A bit more solvent. As you can see, it's really coming up now. Uh, where's my solvent gone? There it is. painting sponge and I'm just going to chop off the end of it because obviously that's that's already got some paint on it it's getting quite low this now I need this is where I need to do some more so I've got my uh, painting sponge I'm just going to pop it in in here so it's loaded and get my and just pat it all over and it gives a really great um, sort of not mottled but just random effect um, and then you can you can obviously there we are so you can see what I can do with it oh sorry so it's great for doing an all over colour uh, that you don't want to be smooth, you don't want to wash, but you just want it fairly randomly. And then, of course, you can add a bit more colour to this and just do it a little in between. Um, it's they're, they're absolutely brilliant. I, I, I use them all the time now. Um, so I just thought I'd show you guys how how they got made, how they get made. Um, that's come up to the top now, as you, you saw how much I put in. I think it's probably going to come up even more than that. Um, so I'll, um, I'll, I'll, what I'm going to do is switch off and come back after an hour um, so you can see where, where, how far it's come up and then we'll uh, take it out of the pot. So as you can see, it, I mean this is a, just a dirty random face that I've got um, that I've been messing around with but as you can see it's kind of given a really an okay random um, painting effect. As I say I use, I use this, I use these sponges all the time now um for for m for most of my painting um along with the applicators and all the other things that I used to use but these are brilliant for getting an all over um even colour or, or or even uneven if you want to you can do whatever you want with them. 
Okay, I'm going to switch off and come back when this has um, got to the end of this hour because that's only after about two minutes. So um, I reckon it's probably got a bit, a bit further, a bit more expansion to go yet. And then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's cured and we'll tear it up and I'll show you what we can do with it. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Right, okay, uh, it didn't go over the top, which I thought it was going to do, but to be honest, it's only half an hour, um, but I think it's gone as high as it's going to go, it'll be fine. So, and it's quite a warm day today, so I'm just going to pull this out of the bucket. Right, so this will last you a long, long time. Um, so basically what I do, I don't use the surface that's on the outside, I rip it up, so... Basically, I just break it into bits and then use it as pieces. So that'll make a nice, a nice edge. So I'll probably cut off that bit. So I can use that as a painting sponge. And we've got it, and we've got tons of it here. This will last a long, long time because even though uh, you can, when you've used it, you can actually uh, rinse it out in solvent um, for quite a few times. But I don't, I don't bother. I just uh, let it, let it, let it um, cure, and then trim it, cut it off, and then you away you go again. So that it'll get that bit. I'll just cut that off, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. I'll get four or five. Four or five, excuse me, sponges out, out of that. Um, and, you know, as you can see, I've got a lot here. So I'm going to be making some more and selling them on my uh, on my making group. But, but this is a little tip for you um, to see um, how you can make your own and save a bit of money, uh, save a bit of, bit of, uh, a bit of hassle, you know. If, um, as we all know, these cosmetic sponges... I mean, I did find one, one make that didn't, um, as you see, it's got quite a nice, I don't know if you can actually see that, it's got quite a nice sort of finish to it. Um, I do, I, I, these, these things, I have bought so many packs of them and, and tested them and found that they, they inhibit the cure. The way you test them, you just get, um, some silicon on them leave them for the time that it would it would take for them to cure if it's cured in the pot test it on the sponge if it's still sticky if it's still tacky and sticky and and that do not use it because it will affect uh, the cure on your baby when you're painting it so just don't use them and if they're like that just throw the whole lot away uh, which I'm going to do now but I, I did find um, a make that was okay uh, it's not even latex. If even if you look for latex free sponges, um, they have something in them that affects the cure. I don't know what it is. Something scientific. Um, I don't know whether it's sulfur based or what, but it's got something in them that that um, it's not latex particularly, but it's something else. So these I think are absolutely brilliant. Um, they're my my invention. Um, so if you see somebody else doing them, you'll you know you saw it here first. This is the um, 14th of September 2021. So you saw it here first. So if anyone says they invented this, they didn't, I did. <laughs> Not as it matters at the end of the day. But um, yeah, so this is, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, go away, make them. Um, I'm not sure how much this Soma Foma costs. Um, I've also got one that's 25 I don't know whether it's more dense or less dense. Should we have a little go with it? Um, I'll, I'll use the same bucket. I'll, I'll actually do it now. So I've got this Soma Foam of 25 that I thought I'd have a go with. Now I don't know whether it's more dense or more foamy, more, more less dense. So we'll have a go. Now with this one, you add equal quantities of A and B. So I'm going to do that. This is fun because I've actually never tried this before. I just I enjoy the other one so much. I just thought I'll get I'll get the uh, I'll get a different um, size one. 
and try this. So I'll do it now. You can um, you can colour these. Uh, you can put um, the silicon pigments in them, but I, I can't think why you would want to. To be quite honest, um, so don't want to get confused. Don't, I do that quite quite a lot, getting confused. Right, so I'm just going to weigh it out. So it's equal quantities A and B for this one. And again, it's called Somathoma. It's the same product. It's platinum silicon. It's just a different um, number. Um, I'm not sure what the number, whether, whether the 25 is thicker, is more dense than 15 or less dense. So we'll, we'll put about, um, I think we'll put about 100 in. Hundred of each. It won't be make as much as the other one because it's um, it's only hundred of each. The other one was two hundred and one hundred, wasn't it? This I was it. This I used was it. Um, right. This is B. It's actually hundred and twelve. I, I I love doing these experiments. Right, another 112 coming up. There we are. Put this in the other box before I get them confused. We are definitely confused.com here. And we give it a 12. This is really exciting because I've never used this product before. I say I bought it, I, I, I keep experimenting with different things. What I'm actually got them for was to experiment in having something inside the baby that's less dense and therefore less heavy than silicon to make a baby that's a bigger baby, a bit lighter. Um, as I say, these are all sort of like little secret thingies that I'm only telling you guys because you're my students. Right, right, there we go. And that's coming up now as well. So the first one was Soma Foma 15 um, and this one's Soma Foma 25. So the 15 you, you put double A in so it comes with um, it comes with two uh, where's the, where's the camera there it is it comes with two A's and a B so that's enough for you to double up on the A. This one comes just an A and a B so uh, we'll see what happens with this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off the camera and come back to it in um, a little while. This says um, it's what does it say on here? It says right. Not coming up as quickly is it so it's probably going to be more dense I would think um, that sort of doesn't say it says part life 90 seconds so it's more longer part life and cure time an hour the same as the other one um, oh here we are it gives you a diagram of the different um, different different expansions for the same amount. So um, oh these are these are something different altogether. They're different, they're different things, yeah. Something else for me to try. Right, it's not coming up very fast at all, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, 
leave it for an hour and come back to it and show you and we'll have a little experiment of how that feels and whether that's going to uh, work as a painting a painting sponge but all we know is it's going to be fine as far as the cure goes it's not going to inhibit anything because it is a platinum silicon um, so it will be fine it's just whether or not it's handy whether or not it's useful or not okay I'll see you in an hour right I'm back um, again I didn't wait the full hour but I think it's fine right it's it's definitely a lot more dense this sponge um, it's more like the density actually of the cosmetic sponges um, but whether it'll be any good because it's not probably going to be as here we are right I'm baking bread here I think it's just going to be a really good alternative I'll split it open see what we got yeah it's definitely it's definitely more dense uh, but I, I yeah I reckon it's going to be good I think we'll probably have a go with this yeah when we next do the painting so so I think yeah it's going to be it's going to be a lot more dense this one maybe it'll be very similar to the cosmetic sponges but obviously a platinum sponge platinum, platinum silicon so it's going to be absolutely compatible yeah look at that so we shall have a go with this that's brilliant actually let's have a go now right so that's this is the um number oh, where are we number 25 this one as opposed to this the number um 15. okay let's have a little play mix up some Mix up some uh, silicon. I'll oh, use a fresh pot. I use a different colour so I can so I can see what I'm doing with this. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna use oh what colour shall I use? I'll use oh, this is blue. I don't I don't want to use blue. <coughs> Um, I'll use a yellow because it does have to be a different colour because I need to see what the effect is on top of the other colour. Um, So if I'm imagining I'm <coughs> um, just lifting some of the fleshy areas with the yellow, yellow oak, well it's not yellow ochre, it's actually between yellow and yellow ochre. This is the um, Enfist colour called egg yolk I think. Right, so this is the dense sponge. What do I do with the bits I cut off? So this is the squishy sponge and this is the more dense one. Um, I don't know where that piece is that I, that I trimmed. 
I'll use oh there that was it there so what I'm going to do I'm going to get a, a slightly smaller piece than this and cut the end off this so I've got a smaller bit for pouncing so that's basically what I'm working with okay Ooh, this is good so this is really there's less texture than the other one but it's great for just pouncing a colour on a bit like using a cosmetic sponge Ooh, I'm really really pleased with this so yeah so so this is is really good I'm going to be I'm going to be breaking it up and selling some bits yeah this is great selling some bits in my um, in my makingsiliconbabies.com shop for anybody who doesn't want to buy a whole kit they want to just get a few pieces of the sponge and try it out um, but yeah this is brilliant I, uh, I'm really 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 excited um, so I'm going to put this, um, this, this video up on my uh, silicon magic um, tutorial thingy for anybody who's in my group um, to see so you'll be seeing lots of rather special things this is just an old piece of an old face right so I'm really really excited so that's the um, Soma Foma 15 and this is the Soma Foma 25 a lot more dense and bouncy but they're they're both going to be really really handy so this is is very similar to a cosmetic sponge in texture those hard sponges you know the wedge ones and this is similar this is just brilliant for getting um, getting texture and and um, getting colour over the baby without it being a smooth a smooth um, um, colour. Right, I'm going to uh, yeah, really 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 excited about that. Okay, I'm going to finish this now. <laughs>